Fairlight is an audio workspace buried in DaVinci Resolve, and today we're continuing our series on Fairlight with a deep dive into the panning function of the mixer. The mixer provides access to two kinds of pan controls, depending on whether you're doing stereo and surround or 3D positioning in your mix. First, let's look at the pan control that's compatible with stereo and surround panning. You can drag the panning on the mixer strip handle within this control to adjust panning for stereo or surround mixing, or you can double click the control to expose a large pan window. What controls are available in the pan window depend on the mapping of the audio track, but both stereo and surround panning controls are available with corresponding numeric controls. You can either adjust panning using the graphical pan control or adjust specific panner characteristics using the controls to the left. When a channel strip's pan control is enabled, the pan area displays the panning that's being applied. The audio pan window contains several controls. Left-right changes the balance of signal between the left and right side speakers that you're outputting to. Front and back changes the balance signal between the front and back set of speakers. Rotate simultaneously adjusts the left, right, front, and back pan controls in order to rotate a surround mix about the center of the room. Spread is only available when a linked group of mono tracks is selected and it adjusts the perceived size of a surround mix. Divergence spreads the signal for an individual feed across more of the adjacent loudspeakers, making the perceived size of the sound larger. Boom is the send level of that track to the LFE part of the mix. On enables this functionality and pre lets you adjust the dry part of the signal separately from the wet part of the signal when effects are applied. Now to look at 3D panning, you option double click the pan control on the mixer and it opens an alternate 3D audio pan window. Whereas the regular pan window lets you do stereo and conventional 5.1 and 7.1 surround panning, the 3D audio pan window lets you do the kind of spatial audio processing enabled by advanced surround formats such as Atmos, Oro 3D, and NKH 22.2. The 3D audio pan window has a few more controls than the ordinary pan window. Pan enable toggles the entire panning effect on and off. There's a large 3D representation of the listener's perceived sound stage with a blue sphere that represents the positioning of the track's audio being positioned within that space. It casts a shadow straight down onto the floor and projects a blue box on the four wall of the space to indicate its position more concretely. The front painter is a 2D painting control that represents the horizontal left-right axis and the vertical up-down axis, letting you make these specific spatial adjustments. The side painter represents the horizontal front-back axis and the vertical up-down axis. The top painter represents the horizontal left-right axis and vertical front-back axis. The left-right knob changes the balance of signal between the left and right side speakers and the front and back knob changes the balance of signal between the front and back sets of speakers. The rotate knob simultaneously adjusts the left, right, front, back pan controls in order to horizontally rotate a surround mix about the center of a room. And the tilt knob again simultaneously adjusts the left, right, up and down pan controls in order to vertically rotate a sound mix about the center of the room. The spread function is only available when a linked group is selected. Spread adjusts the perceived sound of the mix and divergence spread spreads or bleeds the signal of an individual feed across the adjacent loudspeakers, making the perceived size of the sound larger. A 2D button lets you set how this is done. With the button turned off, divergence creates a one-dimensional bleed between the left and right planes only. With the 2D button turned on, divergence creates a two-dimensional bleed between both the left, right, and front back planes of sound. Lastly, boom again is the send level of that track to the LFE part of the mix. An on button enables the functionality with a pre button that also lets you adjust the dry and wet part of the signal. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing and check out this playlist.